Good day everyone. Welcome to another episode of our What If series where we bring you insights in the format of a What If question on the ever-evolving landscape of employment law. I'm Ulrich Stander from Azambudi Corporate Employment Law and in today's episode we will unpack what if you expect employees to work over time but fail to contract correctly. Section 10 of the BCA regulates over time. The relevant part of Section 10 determines the following. An employer may not require or permit an employee to work over time except in accordance with an agreement and in terms of subsection 5, an agreement concluded in terms of this section with an employee when the employee commences employment or during the first three months of employment lapses after one year. And this is a, the part that we want to explore a bit more uh, in today's session. So in general, when an instruction to work over time is unlawful and therefore unenforceable in the absence of an agreement. In the recent judgment, AMCU on behalf of Mkontu and the CCMA, Section 10.5 came under scrutiny. Employees were dismissed for refusal to work overtime, despite having had overtime clauses in the employment contracts. The contracts with overtime clauses were entered into some years prior to them being requested to work overtime. The Labour Court found that the overtime clauses in their contracts had lapsed by the time the instruction to work overtime was issued. As a result, without an agreement to work overtime, on the day in question, the instruction was unlawful and the dismissal was unfair. The employee needs to prove that a valid overtime agreement is in place. In proving this, the employer may rely on a verbal agreement a tacit agreement or a written agreement. The Labour Court found that the initial contractual arrangement to work over time had lapsed and that the parties did not enter into a further agreement, either verbally or tacitly, prior to the day they were required to work over time. Now, does this mean that an employer has to enter into overtime contracts annually on a continuous basis? As mentioned earlier, Section 10.5 determines that an overtime agreement concluded with an employee when the employee commences employment or during the first three months of employment lapses after one year. The wording of this section is quite specific. It does not merely determine that an overtime agreement entered into with an employee lapses after one year. It states that an agreement concluded at the commencement of employment or during the first three months of employment lapses after one year. It defines the factual construction when an agreement will lapse. Therefore, in our view, the normal or ordinary meaning or interpretation should be given to these phrases. If the agreement to work over time is entered into after month three since the commencement of the contract, such an agreement does not lapse. If the overtime agreement to work, work with the employees is entered into at commencement of employment or during the first three months of employment, it will lapse after 12 months. In order to address this, the employer needs to renegotiate an overtime arrangement should it wish to continue with overtime work. If the employer enters into a new overtime agreement after the first agreement had lapsed, it does not need to enter in to any further overtime agreements every 12 months going forward, as the new or the second agreement entered into was not entered into at the commencement of employment, nor was it entered into during the first three months of employment, and therefore it does not lapse again. As a result, there is no reason to renegotiate after the second year. I trust that you found this session useful. Uh, this brings us to the end of this week's episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found our discussion informative. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. You can find us on social media or email us at info at massconsulting.co.za. If you're interested in staying up to date with the latest news and insights on employment law, 
be sure to subscribe to our YouTube and Spotify channels. Thanks again for tuning in. See you next time.